Hello students, welcome to this video module on electromagnetic waves in matter. We all learned about electromagnetic waves and its properties in previous video modules. Now we have to discuss about how these waves propagate through a medium. So first of all we are going to discuss about the propagation of electromagnetic waves in a linear media. So we know the Maxwell's equations in free space. In free space means there is no charges, no, no current. So rho equal to zero and j equal to zero. So for in free space, we can write the Maxwell's equations as del dot d equal to zero, del dot b equal to zero, del cross e equal to minus dou b by dou t, del cross h equal to dou d by dou t. But for linear media, d equal to epsilon e and h equal to 1 by mu times b. So in case of linear media, if any of these parameters are known, like if you know the value of b, you can calculate h. So um, the, the D equal to epsilon E and H equal to 1 by mu times B. So using this, we can write. So this is for linear medium. For linear medium, D equal to epsilon times E and H equal to 1 by mu times B. And for homogeneous medium, you know, for homogeneous medium means epsilon and mu are constant everywhere. That means it will not vary from one point to another point. So uh, for homogeneous medium, Maxwell's equations reduce to del dot E equal to zero, del cross E, sorry, del dot B equal to zero, del cross E equal to minus dou B by dou T, and del cross B equal to mu epsilon times dou E by dou T. What we actually did is we substituted uh, D here. D is epsilon times E. And B is um, 1 by mu times H. So this is actually, you know, the first equation del cross H. So del cross H is 1 by mu times B. And on the other side, it is dou D by dou T. You can write it as epsilon times dou E by dou T. So mu is taken to the other side. That is why this fourth equation, del cross B is equal to mu epsilon times rho e by dot t. So this is for linear homogeneous medium. So what is linear medium? Um, we can relate to this H and B parameters by the equations H equal to 1 by mu times B. If one of the parameters is known, you can find the other. And for a homogeneous medium means where epsilon and mu do not vary from point to point. That is permeability and, sorry, permittivity and permeability are uh, constant throughout the medium. Such a medium we can call a homogeneous medium. So for homogeneous, for linear homogeneous medium, we can write del dot E equal to zero, del dot B equal to zero, del cross E equal to minus dot B by dot T, and del cross B equal to mu epsilon times dot E by dot T. Actually for free space or vacuum, we can write this is mu zero epsilon zero. This is for some other medium with a permeability mu zero and permittivity epsilon. This is, these are the forms uh, of Maxwell's equations in a linear homogeneous medium. And we know that the velocity, we, uh, velocity V is equal to, we already learned the C, uh, C square equal to one by epsilon zero times mu zero. So electromagnetic waves propagate through a linear homogeneous medium with a speed V. Through vacuum, we know that they propagate with a speed C. But through a linear homogeneous medium, they propagate with a speed V. So we can relate V equal to 1 by root of mu epsilon. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, mu epsilon. Okay. Epsilon zero is for uh, free space. So the speed of electromagnetic wave in a linear homogeneous medium is root of mu times epsilon. Also, we know that it is equal to C divided by N, where N is the refractive index of the medium. So N is 
equal to c divided by v right so we can relate this what is c c is uh, 1 by root of mu 0 epsilon 0 what is v it is root of uh, mu times epsilon so that is why n the refractive index of the medium is epsilon mu divided by epsilon 0 mu 0 this is actually from the equation c by v okay now you know for uh, most materials this mu value is very close to mu 0 because mu 0 is 4 pi times 10 to the power minus 7 and for most of the other materials also the value of mu is approximately or very close to the value of mu 0 so we can cancel the terms uh, mu 0 and uh, mu uh, from numerator and denominator so what you will get is root of epsilon by epsilon 0 we know that the the ratio of permittivity uh, in a medium to permittivity of free space is termed as relative permittivity or dielectric constant. So the expression for we can approximate the refractive index of a medium to root of epsilon r. Uh, uh, the real case is actually uh, n equal to root of epsilon mu divided by epsilon zero mu zero. But we are taking an approximation um, that as because uh, permeability of most of the medium most medium are very close to that of free space. So cancelled the term and epsilon by epsilon zero is relative permittivity or it is also called a dielectric constant. So refractive index uh, is approximately equal to root of epsilon r. It's a dielectric constant of the material of medium. Okay. So what we discussed here is about the propagation. So electromagnetic waves propagate through a linear is a homogeneous medium uh, uh, with a permeability mu and a permittivity epsilon with a speed v equal to root of 1 by root of mu epsilon. And its refractive index is related to this permittivity or dielectric constant of the medium as n equal to root of epsilon r. These are the uh, terms that we uh, discussed right now. And this one, uh, we, as we discussed in the previous uh, module on energy and momentum of electromagnetic wave, we know that electromagnetic wave consists of electric field as well as magnetic field. So it consists of uh, 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 the energies is stored in electric field and energy is stored in magnetic field. So this term, small letter u, this term is actually signifies the energy density or energy per unit volume stored in the electromagnetic field so it consists of energy density of electric field that is half epsilon e square and the energy density of magnetic field that is half mu times v square so the total energy density uh, of medium uh, the total energy density of the electromagnetic wave in a linear uh, homogeneous medium is given by u equal to 1 by 2 epsilon e square plus 1 by mu 0 b square. If it was in a vacuum, I think we wrote the equation like 1 by 2 times epsilon 0 e square plus 1 by mu 0 b square. This is the expression. This expression that we learned for uh, uh, vacuum. But here we are discussing about linear homogeneous medium. So u equal to 1 by 2 times epsilon e square. So be very careful about this. Here we are using epsilon because this is a homogeneous medium. Everywhere the permittivity is epsilon and permeability is mu 0. Okay. So the total energy density is half times epsilon e square plus 1 by mu b square. And also the uh, pointing a vector we learned the pointing vector s equal to 1 by mu 0 times e cross b that was for vacuum but for this homogeneous medium you can see that s is equal to 1 by mu times e cross b it's not mu 0 there okay and also um, uh, for a plane a monochromatic plane wave the frequency is constant omega and they are related to the wave number omega equal to k v it was k c for the vacuum here it is k v Okay, and uh, uh, B is related to uh, electric field with equation B equal to 1 by V times E. It was actually B equal to 1 by C E uh, for vacuum, but for linear homogeneous medium, it is 1 by V times E. And the intensity is given by the equation I equal to 1 by 2 epsilon V times E0 square. So here also we use epsilon. 
and the boundary conditions are uh, as we already uh, discussed this boundary conditions in some of the previous modules the boundary conditions are same epsilon 1 e1 perpendicular equal to epsilon 2 e2 perpendicular b1 perpendicular equal to b2 perpendicular and e1 parallel equal to e2 parallel and 1 by mu1 b1 parallel equal to 1 by mu2 b2 parallel this is the same boundary conditions that we derived Okay, so the derivation of these boundary conditions, you can refer to some of the previous uh, modules. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the, uh, here. So in this video module, we discussed about uh, propagation of uh, electromagnetic wave in linear homogeneous medium. So what uh, change is uh, the speed and uh, the relation of the speed to dielectric constant of the medium. And also we discussed about the energy density, pointing vector and intensity of electromagnetic wave in terms of its permittivity. Thank you, students. Bye.